here are a few questions that you might want to consider as we get into the, uh, this little piece about Excel. Uh, the example that I used for the Burning Man nitrogen problem was done on a blackboard with a calculator. And the question is, how would you carry out the calculation for the Burning Man nitrogen problem to estimate all the elements of that calculation? That includes the top part, which would be the number of grams of nitrogen, the bottom part, which would be the number of uh, feet squared of the area used for bearing, Burning Man, and then the, the outcome using the appropriate number of significant figures. Notice that that last part really does have a focus on significant figures, so it's important to be able to format cells so that our outcome actually represents the information that we are justified in presenting based on the uh, numbers of significant figures that we're using for our calculations. Well, spreadsheets, what are they in Excel specifically? It's an electronic representation of a grid that has rows and columns. And uh, the grid cells, the, the uh, specific, the delineated areas, uh, things that are delineated by rows and columns, are um, uh, bound these areas where mathematical operations can take place. And here's one of the big advantages. Here's why we would prefer to do this rather than actually uh, do, it, um, uh, do it by hand on a blackboard or on a piece of paper. First of all, we can automate repetitive calculations. That's very important when we're doing uh, calculations for eco-hydrology. And we can also ensure accuracy in a complex series of operations so that we have a multi-step function like that one that we did for Burning Man and nitrogen. Uh, we can actually uh, check each step individually to be sure that it's uh, putting out the correct portion of the answer so that our overall result is correct as well. And it's also one-stop shopping for functions. Uh, we can uh, get sine functions, square roots, exponents, even uh, do random number generation with Excel. Excel has a, is, is, is very powerful in terms of the number of things that it can do and uh, it's useful to know not only how to do basic things but also how to expand on those with the functions that are available. So here's a single grid cell and as you can see here the uh, columns are represented by uh, letters and the letters go all the way from A B, C, to A, A, to, uh, A, B, C, or I'm sorry, A, A, etc. until we have, uh, we have a, a, a many, many columns that we can have. The uh, numbers, the rows are numbered, and uh, uh, they go from one to, I think the boundary is, uh, I'll show you that below, but the, uh, the uh, big point here is that we have a capacity to hold a tremendous amount of data, and each cell represents an opportunity to carry out individual cal calculations. Some of the common applications that we have for eco-hydrology is online data acquisition and manipulation and simple modeling. And in fact, when we talk about the Burning Man nitrogen pro uh, problem, that is a simple modeling question. Common operations include addition, subtraction, multiplica multiplication, division, roots, exponents, and logarithms. Those are the common uh, exponents uh, or operations that we'll use in the eco-hydrology class. And remember that the cell is the basis for operations. The rows are numbered. They go from 1 to 16,385. And the columns are lettered uh, from A to, um, the, to, A to uh, ZZZ, uh, which then again represents 16,384 columns. That means we have over 200,000 cells, and each, each cell can hold information. And the format for each cell can be numbers, currency, date, time, percentage, fraction, scientific notation, and text. Here's an example of uh, how the uh, format changes, or how the format changes the representation of a specific number. So in this, in this case, we have the number 0 0.025, which is 25 hundredths. Uh, in cell B1, we can see that that's represented as 0 .0 or 0 0.25, as it is on the left-hand side. As currency, it's represented as uh, a dollar sign and 0.25. As a date, it's represented as 1-0-1900. As a time, it's represented as 6 o'clock in the morning. As a percentage, it's represented as 25% with two decimal places. You can have more than that by using the formatting tool. As a fraction, it can be represented as one quarter. In scientific notation, it can be represented as 2.5 times 10 to the minus 1, or exponent to the minus 1. And then as a, um, as a text, 
uh, as, a, as, a, as text, it's automatically justified on the left-hand side, and now it's no longer a number that can be manipulated and used for calculations. Suddenly this is a letter, just as A, B, C, etc. would be. It actually no longer has a value unless you specifically uh, change that from a text, uh, a text formatted cell to one that has a numerical value.